You gotta go like this. <laughs> yeah. All right, enough of this. All right, Yeah, me, uh... All Me, Dr. People about to have a quick interview. I'll do my best to ask the correct questions. All right. Leg out. Ugh. Yeah, right now Dr. PB is trying to fit the money in his wallet, but it just won't fit. The wallet is not large enough. Alright, I think this is correct. I hope it is. Yes, alright. Real quickly, let's, ma let's make this really quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First of all, Whoops. I want to congratulate you for getting first in three events. Uh, Melee singles. Project M teams, Project M singles, yeah. yeah. And I want to thank you for coming on out. I know it was quite a drive. Oh, how, absolutely. How far was it, like uh, seven hours? Uh, well, it was supposed to be probably about six, but uh, with the with like stopping and traffic, and we had to pick up someone else and everything, so it it, it added like Is that seven. Esam, the first. No, Esam actually, you know, caught up to us and got up with us yeah. in time. Like we we were a little late because he had to come all the way from South Carolina. Right. We went and picked up uh, Corey, one of the Project right. Melee back uh, got back rumors oh, okay. from Raleigh. I have a question. You know, I asked you to come three weeks ago, and you were basically like, it's not happening. It's basically what you told me. And then, like, yeah, three I'm or four <laughs> days before the event, you're just like, all right, we're going. So what happened? What changed that? All right, well, I, I'm real, I'll am i be real wishy-washy about tournaments, especially if you, like, ask me at a certain time, like, if I'm busy, yeah. my mood, whatever. So what happens is, uh, like, I didn't think I was going to go because I thought I was just going to go to Winter Ball because I thought singles were on Saturday. And what uh -huh. happened was uh, – the uh, like I found out that Winter Ball singles were on Sunday, and I couldn't do that. And so I said, all right, well, Xanadu, I was already invited. You know, people were already interested, and some people taking off work. They ended up not going, but that's a different story. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, I'm trying to, you know, there's already a movement for this. People already want to go. Why not, you know, like, people still want to do something. Why not just, like, honor that doing something? All right, well, you know, when you win the Falco Ditto, you could sit in the chair, guy. Come on. <laughs> Jason, you. Jason, you know I'm playing. You know I'm playing. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I'll mess it. All right, cool. Um, I have a question. Okay, you played Project M. Have you been playing it a lot, or? Um, pretty much only at tournaments. Okay. I'd like to change that, honestly. Like, because it's a growing movement. It's getting a lot of people into uh -huh. playing melee. It's just. Yeah, it was actually the biggest tournament today. Thirty-eight entrants. So. I th was it thirty-eight or thirty-nine? Yeah, it was thirty-eight or th it was thirty-eight or thirty-nine. I think it was thirty-nine, and Esam didn't enter because he forgot, and so it could have <laughs> been forty. He could have got top three in that too. He should feel Esam, really bad. Esam, you see this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um, what do you think about Faco because I think you told me earlier that uh, oh he feels a little different so you don't really like playing as him um, I feel like yeah, I don't really enjoy the character like I do in Melee. He's just, like, he feels kind of Falco-esque. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's still, like, the most fun for me. But it, it feels like it's so rough to play him when he's not. He doesn't feel like, he just doesn't feel fluid like he did as a Melee character. But that's kind of, like, the nature of Project M anyway. It's still, it's still getting put together. Yeah. It's, still, it's still real slippery. Like, they've still got, like, you know, edge cancels. You fly off every yeah. time instead yeah, of, like, I mean, getting stuck there. Like, and I understand. They're, they're, it's, it's not finished, but I just understand, like, yeah. that's the, kind of the nature of how this is being built. Like, Falco's not going to feel great. I'm gonna, I should give it time. And, you know, I'm kind of thinking about joining, like, the Project Melee backroom to give Ooh. insight. That's cool. but, uh, but the idea um, about Falco himself is that I feel like they've messed with laser stun, and maybe I really want to say laser size a little bit. Okay. Um, and I feel like uh, I feel like I think the the ability to SDI his moves makes his combos a lot harder. I feel like there might be something about his stun that's a little different too, okay. but that's kind of hard to say because I haven't really played enough. It's really hard for me to gauge. Um, and well, so, what made what made you go to Marth in Project M? Because you said you prefer Marth. Oh, I prefer Marth because. They can't. You can't really mess up Mark. <laughs> like he's a straightforward. Well, relatively speaking, like he there's not. He doesn't have like a projectile and the up and down combo game like Falco. It's do you have a pretty big grab? Do you have pretty big sword? All right. Well, you're pretty much Marth. <laughs> yeah. Like there's 
you know, that's that's a general character design because he can he cuts people off, he gets them to the edge, and then he grabs them and throws them in the air, and then he just keeps them up there because he has the big sword. That's generally how it works. And they give him a long dash dance too, and he's even it's more like Marth. They he feels more melee like. He's he feels he has some cool stuff that uh -huh. I think makes him like more awesome than in melee. Like he has a stronger well if. I feel like it's a stronger up air, or, it, or it like proportionally because of the lower ceilings, the up air is stronger. Okay. Things like that, and I feel like Tippered Nair is stronger. Different, like just because yeah. he doesn't really have a whole lot of killing potential in uh, melee. So like, like outside of like Gimps or like you trick their DI, like that, just an yeah. outright kill move. I feel like certain moves like hit you at a more lower angle in Project M than they do in melee. That's like also true too. There's a there's there's a lot of um, when you you're creating a lot of set combos like you have a lot of SDI but then they're kind of offsetting that by creating a lot of like com like th especially throws you can't really SDI yeah, you and like then like and then it leads into like this obnoxious kill move that sends you like down like <laughs> this even you're, you're holding throw. this way and you're flying down like yeah. below like you know freaking straight line you yeah, I've well, complained about that before, and people gave me crap for it. So even Dr. PP says, "Well, it's it's a, it's it different, may not, it, whether it's good or bad, you know, <laughs> yeah. to be determined." But I feel like I, I feel like just getting a grab shouldn't necessarily result in a kill. Like we when when we think of melee, we usually think of kills as combos. We think of 64 kills as, uh, uh, well, throws as kills. Yeah. And we think of uh, brawl. And there's a little bit of argument, but their percent it's sort of positional advantage it might it's not as combo oriented yeah. so it's like it's like maybe smaller combo you could say or like positional advantage so going in like they're almost going a little towards 64 with it because it's like leading basically into a kill move so is that good maybe but it's like it's kind of different we'll see how it goes like I, i'd probably i'd probably argue not to give everyone that so much because they're because they're already it's already kind of wonky between that and like mm -hmm. uh, improving recoveries so like if they if you don't get them with like that throw in the ridiculous kill move, you might have a hard time getting someone. So I don't want to like force everyone to play a certain way. All right now, here's the question that everyone wants to know: You beat me to king in winners and grands. I think it was the second set of grands. Uh, you're only right. Only using Marth. Yes. And everyone wants to know why you chose Marth. That'd be the first question. I'll ask them okay. a couple questions later. All right. So this is this is really important to me, and there's like I guess a lot I could say about it, but I'm gonna. I, f I imagine you know you and everyone else are about ready to go. All right, guys, we're wow. doing an interview, so uh, wow. I understand why you're doing this. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> wow. All right. Well, there's a whole lot I could say, and I'm, but everyone's getting tired, so I'll, I'll try to keep it short. Okay. Marth is a is a character that I just really like. He's a character that I enjoyed when I started playing, so I sort of picked him up that, and like he's he's almost like since I've gotten really attached to him and gotten a lot better with him. He's also like this character I'm starting to use, kind of in the same vein that Mango used Falco. When everyone said, you know, Puff is stupid, Puff is broken, Rest is stupid, he said, all right, I'll play Falco. And everyone was like, oh, right, well, this is fine. Okay, you're actually a good player. Yeah. Everyone just hates Falco because uh, the way I play Falco or the fact that Falco keeps winning and it's partially, like, my fault yeah. or whatever. So, you know, I'm t and then people was like, oh, you know, you're only good because Falco. So, like, it, it, it helps me. It well rounds me as a player to understand this Marth character. Okay. It makes me better at the Marth matchup. It gives me a counter pick option because the stage list is very good for Marth. There are multiple reasons to learn Marth, like logistically and for tournament purposes. Oh, okay. So it's still a good thing to have. And Mewtwo King as a tournament threat is someone I need to have Marth for. He is the guy that like, if you want to you know, do well with Marth, you have to be able to beat him because his Marth matchup is so solid. He, mm -hmm. has, he has all the ways to like, take out like, Marth's weak points, and he's very good at finding them and exploiting them. So it's so, it has been so crucial to like, right. beat him with Marth. And so uh, Muta King and I, we agreed before the tournament that we were going to do Marth dittos in winners, and then I didn't know what was going to happen after that but then i beat him and i was like i'm not satisfied i wanted it's, it's all about proving myself mm -hmm. really so when when he when i when i won the marth ditto i wasn't like happy I, like i was i was happy i was really enjoyed because i've tried for a while mm -hmm. to beat him with uh marth and a ditto and it never worked out and it finally and I, you know i've been doing a lot of thinking i've been you know watching a little bit i've just been getting better in general and so my marth finally did it and i was like very happy but i was like all right that's you know that's not really good enough while i'm here why don't i just go for all of it why don't i play as chic his chic, you know, even better, and I've never, and I've played it only a few, a handful of times, mm -hmm. and it's shown me that I still have work to do, and I still, I can't make an argument for Marth being the character that I think he is unless I can overcome this person that is, you know, understood Marth so well and able to break him down. So it was something about character potential, something about my potential, proving that I can do whatever I want to do as a player, and, you know, shutting up haters. Like, there's a whole lot of, yeah. there's a whole lot of reasons <laughs> for it, but... 
I just really I haven't had something that like really motivated me to do really well, you know, especially with like Armada quitting. I think he's gonna come back. <laughs> and uh <laughs> but with all that, you know, then I need I need other things to like motivate me because I don't think Mango's terribly motivated right now. So any other like challenges. And I feel like a really good personal challenge for me that I got that I haven't been motivated about in a while is to have, see my Marth succeed, beat Mewtwo King with Marth, because that's one of the things people say, Oh, there's no way oh, yeah. you know, that you could do this. Like you might be able to like like Axis beating him and like, oh you maybe you can like kinda gimmick him or something, get in his head if he's playing bad or something, but is that the same as, you know, beating him over the course of time, like when he's already gotten warmed up and he's adjusted to melee like he was sort of in like grand mm -hmm. finals. And and that's what I that's what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to show well, I guess I'm sort of like repeating myself yeah. at this point, but I really, well, I don't know, I'm just quick, I'm really happy about quick it. Quick follow-up. You took like a couple one to two minute breaks between bad losses. Yeah. How badly were you considering going to Falco? I wasn't. You were just preparing yourself? No, I was just thinking about everything that was happening. Because okay. Because no, none of it was considering Falco. I, I, I made the decision beforehand. We agreed beforehand. I was going to go Marth no matter what happened. All right. I respect that. And what I was thinking about was uh, I was thinking about all of all of the times he would hit me and generally hit me for a certain thing and there's a particular Marth thing I'm gonna tell everyone about it right now because I don't care because I don't care because you can, you can challenge my Marth I don't care anymore all I'm right. happy you can challenge my Marth I don't care now <laughs> um, like he, he just keeps getting better and better so I don't care anymore but there's this one thing that I've always thought about Marth's doing and they never did it and like me taking he was showing me ways to murder people for this, like murder Marth for this. And it's when he comes down, he, Marth always comes down with the forward air. Like if you hit him high and he falls back at this angle, the forward air will cover him. But he's in lag after that. Mm -hmm. And Mewtwo King would always grab. And so I started, and so like he kept nailing me for that again. And it's such a bad Marth habit that's been around you know, since mm -hmm. Ken. And it's never been broken. Even Mewtwo King has, you know, been known to it because it's so it's so scary to land like that from Marth because he's such in such a weak position. He's just converting back into a stronger position. So you really want to put that uh, range out there, and it's hard not to do it. And so I had to focus really hard, like, all right, you know, you're going to be in the situation. You know what he's going to do. Don't think about like what you're normally doing. It's not doing you any good. It's such a it's hard to break habits in tournament. I kind of realized mm -hmm. just because of all like the pressure and the momentum. But I, so I had to really focus. I had to be like, all right, these situations are where he's nailing you again and again. You have to focus to beat them that and the edge and i had to start doing weird stuff to get off the edge like there were times where i just like had to sit there and he was just murdering me on <laughs> when i was when i was on the edge it was really hard to get back up and that was and you know i've kind of noticed that like he stands a certain distance away from pretty much every character and you know he just waits and then they do something and then he hits them and then he's taking full advantage of that situation it's really easy but it's really good so I had to figure out like a lot of situations like that basically, and I had to sit there and like, all right, what can I do about that? Right. And that was that was the worst one was the edge. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't the falling, but that was the second worst. The edge, I just sat there and I was just like, what do I do about this? And yeah, I eventually I eventually got a little bit I got eventually got a little bit of steam with it. He it also helped that his reaction time got lower because I started playing better because I was getting all these ideas going, and that makes more of his game fall apart. And it generally does to any top player, but especially Music King. All right, that's cool. All right, I hope you guys all enjoyed this interview with Dr. Pepe, getting into the mind of Dr. Pepe. I hope it helps some of you uh, lesser skilled players out and understanding his thought process behind, behind what he does. Uh, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. I hope you consider coming out again. Absolutely. I know our really next fun. monthly is the same date as your guys, North Carolina monthly, so I know there's no way you're coming out. Uh, which, what day? It's March 16th, so I no. know I know there's no, no way no, you guys dude. are coming out. You you're guys coming here. I want to go, <laughs> and I want to stream your guys' tournament once, yeah. but it just so happened that we had to use the 16th. So, uh, once again, I appreciate you coming. It was fun. Uh, you won Thank you for a lot me. of our money. I don't think Maryland made top four in any game besides uh, Project M singles, I think, Nintendo. But uh, <laughs> keep coming. Keep scraping us. Keep getting us better. I appreciate it. Hey, I, I mean, I love coming out. I love tournaments. I love competing. So, believe me, I, you know, you keep, you keep Melee and, I guess, now Project M um, attendance pretty good and i'd love to keep coming out we got i mean we had 80 people here i'm very happy about yes that. very very keep good it tournament up. it was it's a little difficult to get everything done logistically yeah. but you know that's the nature of running well, three games it's in because i wanted April. certain things on stream and mutu king was in the top four of every game uh, <laughs> yeah i see i was i was you know i wasn't gonna say that in the interview but <laughs> <laughs> it happens though you know, I know, he's I know. good at every game so we have to figure know, out a way to make I that know. work i know but yeah, you, know, you you didn't see this Mewtwo King when if you you see this, but <laughs> you did. You, this, I, this wasn't for me. <laughs> but All right, yeah. man. Thanks a lot. I will see you later. All right. All right, stream.